Hi, I'm Tim Kinlaw, an Esri instructor. In this video, we'll look at deep learning in ArcGIS Pro start to finish. To start, deep learning is a subset of machine learning and is applied to imagery analysis to yield results traditional methods can't. The scenario we'll work with in this video is we have an image from Paradise, California that shows the result of a campfire that burned in this residential area. In the imagery, we can see damage and undam undamaged buildings. We have a polygon layer representing building footprints, and we want to know which buildings were damaged and which were undamaged. One way to answer that question is to do it manually. Manually inspect the imagery and record the difference in the attribute table of that polygon layer. But we can make that simpler by using deep learning. We can have a tool do it for us. That's what we'll see here in this video. If you look below the map, I have Model Builder graphically illustrating the deep learning tools that we need to run in order to achieve these results. Let's start with the first, export training data for deep learning. The first step of this whole workflow is to collect training samples so that you can teach the model what a damaged and what an undamaged building would look like. When you've collected those training samples, you'll use this tool to export them for use for a deep learning model. The, an important parameter here is the last one, metadata format. You'll see here that there's many to choose from. The reason why this parameter is important is because there are different types of deep learning models that you can train, and each expects a specific metadata format. What you choose here will limit the types of models you can train with that data later on. If you don't know what to choose, lean on our help documentation. Here's the page for that train deep learning model tool. And if we go down to parameters, there's a parameter called a model type. It will briefly describe the model and it often tells you exactly which metadata format it expects. For more information on this, look at the resources associated with this post. We'll be using the feature classifier model type, which wants the classified tiles metadata format. So you'll click run, it exports the image chips, and all the image chips are, they're images. It's the input raster broken apart according to the training data that you provided. And here we can see that Model will learn from this image what a damaged building looks like. It will learn from this image what an undamaged building will look like, and so on. Next step is to run the Train Deep Learning Model Geoprocessing Tool. Here we'll provide those input training data we just took a look at. And there's a parameter called a model type. If we expand it, we'll see the same list that we saw in the help documentation. Now, watch what happens when I specify my input training data. Choose the folder where the images are. And if we expand that model type list again, it's just one. Again, because the exported training data has a specific metadata format designed for a specific model type. You need to be aware of the interplay between this model type parameter and the metadata format determined in the first step of this workflow. Once you've trained the model, you'll decide which geoprocessing tool is appropriate for the model that you trained. The feature classifier model that we just trained is used in the classify objects for using deep learning geoprocessing tool. It cannot be used for the other deep learning tools to yield results. So let's run the tool. We we'll use our input raster, choose buildings, the buildings to be classified as damaged or undamaged. Now we'll point it to the model definition being the deep learning model that we just created. For time's sake, all of this was done beforehand. And then we'll click run. Here we can see the tool ran, took 
just about a minute. Let's change the symbology so we can see whether it thinks the building was damaged or undamaged. Let's grab the swipe tool and compare the results to the underlying imagery. It looks pretty accurate for this area. I hope you find this video useful as you look to use deep learning tools in ArcGIS Pro. Be, again, be sure to check out those resources associated with this post. Thank you.